it's time to continue our series recapping what's been going on at Houston Texans training camp. Let's talk about what happened yesterday. Here's how we do it. Was this a big deal or no big deal? Jerry Hughes was the Texans' best pass rusher last year. Here is what he had to say about Texans' number three pick overall, Will the Terminator Anderson, and what he's seen out of him in training camp thus far. I mean, he has that Von Miller uh, abilities, just how great he is with his hands. He's, uh, he's already fast, and he's able to kind of set up some of his rushes off of his speed already so that he's able to kind of understand that game. It's going to be tremendous for us. And then how he's just picking up our defense, picking up the small things of how to attack the ball as a defense alignment. You know, we always emphasize turnovers. That's going to really help us be uh, the uh, defense that we want to be. And you see a lot of our young guys pick, picking up on that, especially Will. And that's what you want to see, especially up front. There's just someone who can uh, slow down the game, but then also utilize his God-given ability and then put some uh, technique to that as well. Now, a lot of you might have spaced out as that answer continued, but Jerry Hughes said that Will Anderson has Vaughn Miller ability, future Hall of Famer Vaughn Miller. Is this a big deal or no big deal? I want to say it's a big deal. I want to say it's a big deal so badly. I even saw a highlight of Will Anderson pulling off some very filthy uh, moves on some, I think, backup Texans offensive linemen yesterday at practice. But until we see it on the field, you got to say no big deal. This is a teammate hyping up one of his teammates. But I, I, I don't think this is something that Jerry Hughes is like pulling out of his butt. Like This is a guy who's been around the league for a while. So there is something there. And that is good because everything that I have been told by uh, the scouts that I've read, it, it's, it seemed like Anderson doesn't have that kind of special Vaughn Miller ability based off of the way he has been described by NFL scouts. Again, I'm, I'm not going to act like I know one way or another. I think we're all really like operating in the dark here when it comes to predicting what a guy can do. But I loved hearing that from Jerry Hughes. I'm just not going to say that's a big deal. Yeah, it's it's almost like the CJ Stroud praise that we hear where yeah. it is good and it's good that it's always it's like consistent and it's like the similar similar ish stuff that you hear, not just from his teammates, but from, you know, the guys that are watching practice uh on the Texans beat. But it's still not really that big of a deal. That yeah. that I'm not penciling him in for two hundred career sacks. Let me let me just say that. Let's shift. Big deal or no big deal. Houston Texans training camp. D'Amico Ryan's just turned 39 years old. I'm not talking about that, whether or not that's a big deal or no big deal. Big deal. <laughs> big deal. Happy, happy birthday, coach. Happy birthday. <laughs> you want to sing on the... No, never. Happy <laughs> no, birthday. No, 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 Want me no, to no. sing it erotically like Marilyn Monroe? <laughs> happy birthday, Mr. Texans head coach. Okay, sorry. Sorry, everybody. That wasn't good. Uh, D'Amico Ryans was asked about some of the players that have stood out at training camp. Big deal or no big deal, the players that he singled out by name. If you're going to be a really good team in the NFL, you have to be consistent. And so for me to see that consistency of guys like Noah Brown, Dalton Schultz, Tank Dell, to see their consistency, Damian Pierce, like that's what I love to see. So it's no surprises to me who's making plays out here because those same guys made plays when we were here in the spring. He mentioned Noah Brown, who they signed over from the Dallas Cowboys last year. I like Noah Brown based off of the few games that I watched with the Cowboys last season. I, I thought he's a pretty good player. Likes to block downfield too. I like that in a wide receiver. He mentioned Tank Dell. That's also noteworthy. We'll talk a little bit more about Dell in a moment. Dalton Schultz and Damian Pierce by name. Big deal or no big deal? I think it's a big deal because I think right now those are your four best players on offense. I don't think that he would be mentioning them by name like that. And I would imagine that in some way, shape, or form, those are probably your four leading statistical producers by the end of this coming season. I am putting a lot of this into one quote, 100%. But we've been wondering, okay, well, who's going to separate themselves in the wide receiver group? where Nico Collins has been there for a couple of years and you're waiting for him to take that leap. He hasn't really taken it yet. They also brought in Robert Woods, who used to be one of the most underrated wide receivers in the NFL. But those aren't names that he mentioned. He mentioned those four as the guys who have been most consistent in the OTAs and in training camp with a clean slate, a new head coach. Those are probably the guys who are going to get the most reps. So I would say big deal as far as who will be big players on the Texans offense this coming season. Yeah, exactly. The, the first impression that you get 
it, it matters a lot. And so at least coming in, you know, to uh, week one, I expect that Dalton Schultz, Noah Brown, Tank Dell, and of course, Damian Pierce are all going to be heavily featured yes. guys. I mean, I think just looking at the depth chart, you could have said like, you know, no, uh, uh, Dalton Schultz has a really good chance to lead this team in receiving. And it was kind of a bad thing. Maybe now it can uh, be a good thing that Dalton Schultz leads the team in receiving. By the way, Sean, while we're on Dalton Schultz, big deal or no big deal, Dalton Schultz left practice after getting hit by Jimmy Ward. Is Dalton Schultz soft because he played yeah. for the Cowboys? Yeah, big Many deal. Many people are asking. Big deal big that deal. he left. Right. I, uh, <laughs> we're kidding on that front. I have yeah. no idea what happened. No, I, I, <laughs> Zero I, 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 I assume he's not like seriously hurt because we would have heard about like, you know, he's being held out for weeks or, you know, like the Joe Burrow thing. But yeah, no big deal. Big deal or no big deal. Blake Cashman picked off Davis Mills and he nearly picked off CJ Stroud on a day that Christian Kirksey had off. I want it to be a big deal because I want Christian Kirksey off the roster. What? I was going to say he's big, not a good linebacker. I was going to say big deal because I like the last name. Cash man. Cash man. It's like the what's the what's the money badger's last name? That terrible kicker that like gave himself the nickname the money badger. Oh. Eh, whatever. It doesn't I matter. Completely it's, forgot about side, that. Side note. I, I was wondering if his last name was Cashman for a second. While we're talking about Tank Dell, go Cougs. Here's what D'Amico Ryan's had to say about the Texans third round rookies. Is this a big deal or no big deal? I really like his his route running ability. I mean he's I was joking with him in the meeting yesterday. It seems like he's always open. Even when the ball isn't going to him, he's still right running his routes violently like you, like we like him to, and he's consistently uh, getting open. I think it is a big deal that, in addition to singling out those four players, that D'Amico Ryans, when asked about a specific rookie, instead of shifting to talking about the group as a whole, talked about that individual player. And as time goes on, D'Amico might be a little bit more guarded with answers like that and not actually give you anything when you ask about a specific young player. But in that moment right there, he decided to highlight him. What does that mean for the regular season? I honestly don't know. What I think it is a big deal, where I think it is a big deal, is that it does feel like there is a real chance Tank Dell contributes his first season despite being a tiny little folk at wide receiver. Yeah, I thought he was, in, in my own head, I thought he was going to be more special teams uh, you know, more of a special teams impact guy, and then maybe later later in the season, as guys get hurt, he gets more wide receiver reps. So, a uh, big deal that apparently on the first week of training camp, he's really impressed. Also, yes. Money Badger, Michael Badgley, Michael Badgley, also that's play it. on his last name. God, he like shanked a bunch of kicks after calling himself yeah. that. I mean, he the kicked, last thing you can do is to shank a kick ever if you give yourself a nickname as a kicker. He can't. kicked for both the uh. L.A. Chargers and the Chicago Bears. So yeah, he probably sucked as a kicker. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Uh, those are two teams that have always had. <laughs> yeah, no. If you kickers. if you have the Chargers on your resume, I assume you. And stay. the Bears too. The Bears Bears yeah. have their own history with. Okay, the last thing I want to mention. This is just funny to me. Uh, remember wide receiver Amari Rogers. Amari Rogers was released by the Texans in what is a mutual decision and is betting on himself. Imagine that you think it's in your best interests to compete for a wide receiver spot, not on the Houston Texans, who have no number one wide receiver. I don't know that I buy this framing as betting on yourself when you get cut. This is That's a good point. That's a good is, point. <laughs> this is one of those things like when somebody breaks up with you and you're saying like, well, actually, I was betting on myself. Yeah, I need to work. I, you know what? I want to take some time to work yeah. on me. This is like when, when my long distance situation shit broke up with me on Tuesday. This is me. This is akin to me saying like, well, actually, I was betting on myself here. <laughs> Sorry, like that <laughs> doesn't it doesn't work. And it, it, Amari Rogers, like he's 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 trying to feign like he's having a good time, but like me, he's probably like miserable and sad inside because his mom told him that like you know you're running out of options. 